this is Micah. Did you know we do the show live every Wednesday at 7 Eastern? You can watch live exclusively at GasDigitalNetwork.com. Gas Digital members not only get the live stream, but also the video version of the show, live chat, archived episodes, plus brand new episodes five days before they go to iTunes, Google Play, or anywhere else. We have a bunch of other great shows on the network, like The Jasta Show, Legion of Skanks, High Society Radio, and many more. That's GasDigitalNetwork.com. When you check out, use the promo code SHAME and save $1 on the monthly membership. Plus, you get a 14-day free trial to see if you like it. That's just 6 bucks a month. That's GasDigitalNetwork.com, promo code SHAME, all caps, bitch, when you check out. And even if you can't subscribe, you can help us out by subscribing for free on iTunes and leaving a positive review, you pieces of shit, and a five-star rating. Thanks for listening. Add personal sign-off. <laughs> You're so ugly, you're a muck, go fuck yourself, shame on You're a nerd, you're too fat, fuck your shoes, fuck your hat, go fuck yourself, shame on Fuck you, fuck me, fuck everybody, go fuck yourself, shame on Whoa, shame on We hate you, 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 shame on Uh, oh fuck welcome back shamers we don't we haven't named our shames yet our shame fans i just call them pieces of shit it's fucking human garbage <laughs> who would even listen to this shit show idiot fatsos you guys are fucking losers you could just <laughs> fucking just send us money and jerk off already they're just like the belly button lint of america our fans well, they're just a quilt of belly button lint cool speaking of i'm so excited for our guest <laughs> Let's just jump. Let's just jump right the fuck in. Yeah, uh, we have. Uh, you know, there aren't enough white men in comedy. <laughs> I, know. I feel like we keep. You know, we keep running into this problem where it's like, you know, everyone's like, women aren't funny. It's like, then put on some men. Yeah, where I, are they? I agree. You know, Karen has a show every every month. Right. Can't find one fucking man on I it. I put a Craigslist ad out. I've asked personal, close male comic friends to recommend someone to me, another male comic, and I can't, literally can't find a single one. Well, we've heard, we've read your letters and we, we brought one in, guys. <laughs> it took us a year. We finally got a straight ish. Is that how long our podcast has been on for? I don't know. We took a couple breaks. <laughs> I know. I'm like, has it been on what? <laughs> we might have gotten fired a little, fired away. <laughs> Fired. That's the term. We got fired twice. We got fired twice. Uh, welcome, uh, comedian. Uh, he's so well behaved. He's like a golden retriever. He won't say anything until so we introduce good. him. That's what having your own podcast does to you. Is it teaches you? It's so good. Manners. He has a th- bone on his nose right now, <laughs> and he's drooling. <laughs> so cute. So cute. Uh, g- comedian. <laughs> farm face. Yokel. <laughs> That's good. Cancer patient, maybe. Right. Uh, Yellow little chiclet baby teeth. Chiclet baby tooth. Casey James Solange. Hello, ladies. Thank you for having me. I was waiting for you to say my name. Daddy can talk, because I'm going to let you ladies take the reins. (laughs) Women are funny. That's what comedy needs. More tiny, angry, mean, black black hearted women. Oh, I was like, no, not black. (laughs) No, not black. (laughs) We're not ready for that yet. Uh, but it's a pleasure to be here. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you honor. for making it in. Oh. Especially, I'm so excited to have a back-to-back couples episode. Mm, oh my goodness! Great. I love last week's episode. It was really my favorite. We uh, uh, we didn't mention we didn't mention you by name. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wish you did. Did, did we? Do you? <laughs> I was wondering. We had Courtney Courtney McGinnis on last week. And Very funny slut, dumb big, slut, sloppy tits, Huge right slut. in our yeah. fucking face. Huge knockers. Woo! They're bigger Woo! than you think. Too. You get, you get them. Those, I don't know. Unleash. Jesus Christ. Do they swell? in the air they, nah. just fly. they like move uh, <laughs> independent of her body it's incredible oh, you know what that makes sense that you would sleep on a water bed yeah so, it feels like it yeah right. I'm just all cause night. he has cause he's a water head <laughs> nah it's fun <laughs> Yep, I'm retarded. Where, and, uh, my girlfriend's a slut. It's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> Where are you from? Like Pensatucky? Yeah. No, I'm from. Uh, I'm originally from Vermont, and then we moved to upstate New York. Which Why do you white sound trash. like you that? You really because have an, never embraced there's an accent uh, that people don't understand about Vermont. Like, there's this Vermont accent that's a mix between. It's almost like a Southern Canadian. It's yeah. like, how you doing there, bud? Like, people would come to my dad's house to buy weed at night. 
They'd be like, your dad here bad? And I'd be like, no. And they're like, let's come out and light out some fireworks, there, <laughs> bad. And it, it just sounds fucking sounds dumb as hell. Kind yeah. of southern to me, that. I know. I'm sorry. That's how it is. And I then think you're New lying. York is trash. I think you're lying. I think you'll think we're. You will think that you're not retarded if you convince us you're from Vernon. Vernon. Vernon? I think you're retarded if he's, you're not from Vernon. I think he's Vernon from retarded. Vermont. I'm the retarded one. I think you're Vernon. You think I'm not from Vermont? Yeah. Who would lie about being from Vermont? I don't know. What's you're Vermont. Ben- what's, the, what's the benefit of that? <laughs> I don't know. It's just an instinct I'm having right now. If we're lying, I would say I'm from West Virginia so I could play up the white trash thing more because nobody believes me for being from Vermont that I'm white trash because apparently I mean, only I, poor people are from the South. I think the reason we think that is you really do embrace a white trash attitude during your comedy act. Yeah. Thank you. You got to latch on to something. I'm just a boring white guy so you need some kind of gimmick. <laughs> but you did good. You did grow up poor. Yes. Good. Poor, okay. Right. right. Yes. Yeah. So now that he said it's Vermont, reads. it reads. Like I'm like, are you like in the deep woods of Vermont? Like not near a lot of people when you. So grow? the um, well, I was born in Rutland, Vermont, which is the per capita heroin capital of the oh. world. Everybody's on heroin. Thank you very much. I've worked with a lot of dudes that are just like. That sounds lovely. Have yeah. you ever like had to sh- inject someone with n- naloxonil? No, 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 no. I've worked with a guy who was so he was like recovering from heroin, and then he was on this stuff. Uh, suboxone so yeah. it's like the thing you take that's like heroin but doesn't yeah. have the Methadone addictive properties another, yeah but he's yeah. like still we're doing electronics where he's like working on the um, electricity to the house together and it seems like he's on heroin because he's like falling asleep all the time <laughs> right. and then we're also like pumping him full of Klonopin because he just needs something I would drive him home every night he'd pass out oh. I'd have you're to, like, giving take... him cl- oh no you're his doctor <laughs> yeah well we had Klonopin because my stepmom's on it so he's like I just need a little something so I could work on the electricity and you, and you're, you actively ruined his recovery. You think Kalani? Well, my dad needed think... him to work on the house, so we were. <laughs> yeah, but like if somebody's like, I, like you don't think maybe like a snack, like like a juice or something, you go right to Klonopin? Well, the Klonopin was free. You got to buy a juice. Oh know. my, they, they're on Medicaid. So. <laughs> got it. Got it. I don't know. I feel what like about Wick though. There's got to be some something in there. High C. Uh, they were on Wick. Uh, my dad. You came from my dad uh, lived on a, like, like a white people projects in New York, which huh. is hilarious. So like white How... people projects is like. Is that like the other OPP? No. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's like guys, like a guy would come around in jean shorts once a week and like sell stolen meat out of a shopping cart. Every piece of electronics I've gotten from this man. If you'd always like steal PlayStation 2s from Walmart and every, anything I've gotten that was nice as a child, I got from this jean shorted man. Yeah. Jean shorts. Yeah. Did they work or were they kind of shitty and broken? No, they worked. I mean, you stole them from Walmart. So oh, right. Worked, directly yeah. from the, the real, source. The real oh. Walmart. You know, well, like just how we steal like, everything. Oh, it just sounds like regular, good old, like, organized crime a little yeah, bit. Yeah, no, it's fun. It's cool as so. hell. Yeah. Um, before we get too deep in my trash, I want to say how much I enjoyed last week's episode. <laughs> oh, right. And I was listening to it. I was listening to it and I was texting my friends, uh, Will and Patrick, my, my, who, I have a, who I have a podcast with, The Good, The Dead, and The Ugly. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That. I've never been invited it's on there. Right. And it's, it's interesting because I have such a close history with one of the hosts. I know. Oh, we'd love to have you sometime, Show. but it's not really up to me. Uh, <laughs> and I'm texting them. I'm like, all right, here we go. I'm going to listen. And they're like, all right, well, Godspeed, buddy. And so I get out. <laughs> you know, okay. everyone who listens is someone who's fucked one of our guests. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, so I want, you have I thousands mean, of listeners. I'm sure. <laughs> they're um, all just all Karen Karen's, Jackson's. Yeah, all Karen Jackson's. <laughs> And your girlfriends. <laughs> Excuse me. Sure. Thank you for listening. So I'm like, I'm literally texting them. I'm like, all right, half an hour in, we're nothing too bad. And then like, you said, what's your sluttiest story? I'm like, all right, it's a story I've already heard. That's fantastic. And then I literally said, ten minutes left. I think we're home free. And then she goes, I've done coke off a guy's dick. And I'm like, well. <laughs> Where are you it, I said, well, I spoke too soon, fellas. What? Uh, what you, don't you- I was fine with it. Right. I'm literally, she yeah. uh, knowing her past, it's like. It's like if you like chocolate and peanut butter, eventually you're going to have Reese's, you know? So she loves Coke and Dick, so eventually that, that uh, Venn diagram is going like, to come right. together. White trash analogy is really blowing me away. You said Venn diagram, though. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Venn diagram. Who yeah. taught you trash. that? I've been to public school. <laughs> <laughs> Who taught you that, Venn? Uh, but she's a beautiful lady, and I'm in love with her, so it's great. Right. So. Don't you? I, immediately, I would be like, ah, oh, this chick will do coke off my dick? Cool. I don't even understand. It's not a good surface. It's, no. it's just like ridges. Fun. It's just fun. I guess. <laughs> well, I mean, some, just put it on there, and then you can like suck Some dicks dick. are kind of big, though. Yeah. I'm sure this dick was bumpy. And it then, was, you know, some dicks are really <laughs> huge. <laughs> talking Shit about the guy's I know. Dick. I'm sure it was very bumpy. Sure, dicks are very big like and they're fucking... big surfaces. You know, it's flat? hard to imagine. Flat on top. Well, if you're well, girth, the circumference, it's, it's like the earth. Enough. But I'm just saying, like the it's... earth isn't flat. I'm we s- can stand on it. I'm saying this. <laughs> That's great. Wow. I stood on Got dick. Out over here. I'm saying this table is girthier than a dick. So just pop it on the table and then you could suck a dick and then it's well, like right, easy. Right. Cut out the middle, man. 
I but feel like, like you're not, missing the point. Yeah, of, I don't maybe I am. Get maybe why I am. someone would do it? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think, really get it. Yeah, have really you is. never hung out? <laughs> no, I've, I've never hung out. <laughs> I didn't start doing. I only have done coke a couple times, and it didn't, wasn't until recently. You've never had like, liar. <laughs> what? Liar. <laughs> I am. I, was, I would love to be. I, I have personally cool. done it with you <laughs> seven hundred times. My God, you've done it twice. You can't, you can't do that. Le- with me. Oh, I can't do that on television. No, no. You know he's sponsored. Oh, I didn't know by Bud Light, right? Oh, I'm sponsored by Bud Light now, so we gotta. We did Bud Light so many times. The official, co- the official uh, beer of meth, not Coke. Uh, we, we don't have Coke. Exactly. Is meth okay? Exactly. We chugged so many Bud Lights in the Cobra Club bathroom together. It was uh, a lot of fun time. Oh, oh right, right. wonderful. Mm. Um, shout out to Cobra Club. I produced a few shows there before. It's a fun time. It's a great place. It's great. Um, Sorry, but get, we can get back to whatever you guys want. I'm just kidding, no, you guys. You... He's never done Coke in his life. I've never seen it. I don't care. I'm, what do I have to lose? I don't give a shit. I'm not going anywhere. So back to your girlfriend doing coke off some obviously black guy's dick. I mean, clearly. (laughs) Clearly. Well, because that's how you can see it. (laughs) (laughs) The easiest way. That's great. Yeah, I know it's fine. Uh, You know, everybody has a past and um, all that matters is the future. You know what? Let's set set it straight. We're all here now. Really? Let's set it. Let's set it fair. What's your sluttiest story? Um, I, I did coke. Out of a lady's pussy one time. You know, She's said, dead now. It's, uh, people like, are like, what? She was actually dead yeah. then. Like, like, you just ate her out? What do you mean? Now, now I put it on the clitoral hood. And oh. A lot of people are like, it's probably too wet down there. I'm like, no, nah, we're not getting there. <laughs> Come on, you know what I'm saying? That sounds like you, like you did it off like a droopy big nana uh, clit. I didn't do it. I'm just... <laughs> you know, the vagina, the vagina is too wet to it, would, it would absorb host cocaine. As I, I said, not when I get near it. Oh, right. Yes, Sorry, I missed yes. that. I That's was... why I went Nana dry. I was implying mm. that. Uh, my We're slutty... all on the same page. Mm. Your story stinks so far. Tell us a good one. The so slutty story is, um, I don't know. I've like had sex with a couple women in the same day. Day. Like I'm trying to think of like a real. Oh, that's good. No, that's good. That's not like that's too good. Slutty. No. How how did that how did that go down? Was that like a Tinder like free for all or? See, yeah, I've only been single. My dating, I've been dating for like 15 years, and I've only been single for like two of them. So oh, like, you're one of those. He has a fear of abandonment. Yeah, yeah I have big uh, trust issues. Who left you? Issues. Your mom uh, leave you? My Your mom, mom you? emotionally and my father. What do you mean emotion? What more did you want from her? Um, just like to be there for me, you know, and uh, be my be my mother and be and be good to me. But instead, but, uh, she was uh, I smoking crack at some point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you um, know, or are you just judging? No, she told me. <laughs> she told me. Um, <laughs> I'm like just smoking crack, mom. You're like he fucking never, narc over here. <laughs> yeah, he like, never what? hung out. <laughs> never I'm hung sorry, out. I'm not cool. Jeez. Uh, Your mom sounds like a good time, so she's smoking a little crack. Smoking a little crack. Taking too many naps. She loved, no, not nap. Nothing, never nothing napping, naps. never not home. Nap. I bet your house is clean. <laughs> <laughs> no, not, it was clean enough that I came home at one point and all our belongings were gone. And oh, she right. said, uh, yes. she was like, they, it was my birthday, I remember. I came home and <laughs> oh. everything in the house. <laughs> Everything in the house was gone. And she's like, some people just took it, but they're going to bring it back. And I'm just such a dumb kid. I'm like, all right, well. <laughs> they're going like, to bring yeah. she, she couldn't even fill the lie of like, we got robbed, <laughs> which is the smart lie, right? She knew how dumb I was that I was literally like, okay, all right. So, what like, birthday was that? Uh, it was probably, so let's see, third Grade? Eight, nine. Get eight, over nine. it, eight, nine, little eight, bitch. I'm over it. I'm fine. I'm doing great. <laughs> no, are you not? Kidding? Eight and nine are the only two years you're supposed to have a birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, those yeah. are the two years where it's, no. like, still exciting. You get good presents nah. that change your life. Yeah. You get all the good shit when you're older. I got all good shit when I was 15, 16. You were a presents. spoiled little brat. We're make sure about everybody hears that. Every else. Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't get any presents. Karen, <laughs> Karen grew up with, like, her mom giving her a credit card to go shopping. So this Jesus is, like, a Hey, hey, look. So why are you such a fuck up? Hey, Listen. You have everything laid out in front of you. Listen, she gave me that credit card when I went to Paris. Oh, yeah. ah. so sorry. Boo. Jesus Christ. What happened? Why are you? What do you mean? I'm the greatest. Mm. See, he thinks I'm a fuck up. Oh, I remember the first time I you met are you. A fuck up. I know, at, I know, I know. You were at a, you were, we were at a, an open mic. Was it CB's Comedy Club? I don't remember that. Yep. Oh. And, I don't remember uh, that. Literally, oh, the comedy basement. Could you yes. get raped anywhere rapier sounding? Absolutely. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, you had to show your tits to get down to the basement. I know. I had to do it. I, and, um, but you, everybody did. You were heckling <laughs> every single... It was an open mic, and you were heckling every single... Oh, You were great. throwing things on stage. <laughs> oh, oh, good, good. You Let were me guess. At everybody. Let me take a soft guess at how that was going. I think Chrissy Mayer was trying to be like, Karen, please stop. Oh, and you're like, ah, fuck you. Throwing shit on stage. Hey, uh, one Karen, time, true or false, you remember that night. Absolutely not. No, that's um, the lady who's been to Paris. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> at, uh, at an open mic at, um, I think it was, uh, yeah, at New York Comedy Club, probably like a decade ago now, like a really long time, right, maybe not a decade, but a long time ago. I was so hammered at an open mic that Dale, the host, Sorensen, oh, yeah. drug me out by my ponytail. Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> Who, who's the villain in that story? I don't really know. I, I think still say. Karen. Yeah, yeah. I think still. If you, okay, if you like have to yank a person out by their ponytail, you're probably being a real piece of shit. <laughs> I mean, that's intense. At an open mic. God damn, we're just like literally just practicing I know. God, you, everybody was so bad. And you were just booing everyone. <laughs> You know what though? Yeah. Uh, when I the first comic I dated took me to an open mic before I even started doing stand up comedy, oh, and he took me into the back of the room and started booing the comics. Oh my that was God. my first experience with awesome. an open mic. It was so funny. I I did feel bad because I was like, someday that'll be me. Yeah, someday I'll be getting bid. <laughs> I have empathy. Yeah, oh! how about that? I know. That's my first experience. I realized that when we when you did our podcast, and then we hung out afterwards, and I was like, oh, she's very sweet. Oh really? Yeah. Oh no! What you did I very say? Very nice. You ruined it. You were just talking. You were just saying very nice things, and you were being a nice person. <laughs> you I'm do like, that. I didn't know this. You do that like once in a while. You'll do that. Just yeah. be weird. like it's sincere. Weird. No, you're acting like a phony bitch. I catch you doing it. I don't think. I think you were being. Oh. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's. I, I was like, that sounds more right. What did I want out of you, though? <laughs> what did you? There's get literally not. Me? I literally had nothing to offer. You already, yeah. you already did the pod. We I'm trying to. Yeah, I'm trying to be like. Was you drunk? We were drinking. Oh yeah. 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 I mean, I'm whatever. a nice drunk. Well, yeah, whatever I mean, it takes. But it's like, you, was it all three of you boys? Because that's just like a fun environment. Like it was, three no, it cute li- boys. Just it's literally you two? me and you oh, talking. Oh, you guys are attracted Th- to each other. Thank you for calling me cute. No, I listened oh, last. Oh, you guys want to have sex with you? No, when I listened hey, last week, guys. I was. No, listen. This guys, is what happened last week. If you like each other, you can tell me. You're the one that you're I the won't one tell anyone. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> you're the one who said I was cute last week because I was listening and according to Oh my got, god! How many times goes, did you jerk off? Oh no! Episode? I forgot oh, about that, that part. I am very sorry. No, Casey. no, no! I was listening. <laughs> I was eating a burrito. I while forgot people hear this. And Courtney was like, "My boyfriend's so hot," and you go, "Hmm," and I spit my burrito out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's hilarious. Uh, hey, it's fine. It's hilarious. It's of, of gonna, the reasons. He said I'm an acquired taste, and I'll yeah. take it. That's fine. Of the reasons to love you, that's not the first one I would yeah, list. You second, are an enjoyable person. Absolutely. Before you are attractive. Thank you very much. And I'm not that But it's like, and it's a huge gap, though. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. I think Casey's cute. Mm. Thank you I very said much. that right. Uh, yes, you did say that, and I appreciate that. And uh, thank you very much, Karen. You're welcome. You're, Mike you're and both. I have different tastes in men now. Absolutely, you're she both likes handsome men. ones. I know. I was like, um, I was right, like, she is muscular oh, and he's got hair. So and cute. He, she likes. Uh, he broke Courtney's uh, priceless dresser in the street for no reason. It was hilarious. Really? really? We were, she was. He was helping us move, and it was so funny because she's like, literally, she's like. This dresser, I don't care about anything else. My grandfather made this dresser. It's the only thing I care about. God. And I get out of the truck after loading something in, and I just see him lifting it by himself. It looked like he picked it up to throw it in the street, smashes it. <laughs> get and him, I'm like, Archie. Get I'm him. like, what happened? And he was like, I was just trying to move it. I was like, why don't you just wait a second? And then Welty fucking went to move it in the truck, and he snapped the legs off. He goes, oh, fuck. I'm like, well, this is the one thing she cared about, and you guys really fucked it up. <laughs> But Richie stayed oh and he my fixed God. it. And it was very nice. It was the one thing she cared about. She has a dog. No, we threw the dog. We <laughs> yeah. just uh, we let the dog out and hoped it. Uh, Richie found doesn't apartment. move dogs. Casey does that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's dog walking, right? Yes, I'm yes. A dog walker. Very nice. <laughs> Sam, yeah. how about that? Still didn't you got your I, big? I got one. I got one of those. That's great. That's you great did your too. big half hour special though, didn't you? Invest some of that into Bitcoin. <laughs> Seriously, I what loved. You, I yeah. love the the. What do you get question. for that fifteen hundred dollars? Word it was. <laughs> <laughs> you did it in half hour special. Karen is concussed. I know. I, just, yeah, I, were, I don't know. He's I've never heard only... someone not drunk talk like they're fucking blackout drunk. I know. It's really beautiful. Well, it's just like happens over a matter of time. Like yeah. your like speech becomes impaired. Sure, sure. After many that. concussions and you know lifelong alcohol and drug abuse, <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> right? Uh, that money is was gone before it. I even got it. So, all all you know, fifteen hundred dollars. Seven thousand. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I've got no problem. That's a no. thing. That's a real trait of a poor person. If they'll talk about yeah. how much money, you know, they grew up poor. Good point. That's where I talk about it. But I, you know, so I didn't. I. I don't. Eh. I didn't grow up poor, like, you know, I didn't, like, have my birthday present sold for crack or anything. (laughs) Yeah, sure. (laughs) I I keep thinking, like, she probably just really needed some more crack. I think it was the boy, the guy, the The man that she was with uh, was fucked up. Like, he got in bad with some people. This was the worst guy. His name was Ace. 
Um, and, wait, uh, on his birth certificate? I don't fuck. I didn't see his birth certificate. I'm sure he, oh. he doesn't have the birth certificate. He broke up with my mom while we were driving to Thanksgiving dinner, and uh, he was going to my mom. He goes, take me to my mother's house. And she goes, no, hey, it's already late. And he goes, take me to my mother's house. And she goes, no. And he goes, all right. And he jumps out of the yes! moving vehicle, and he runs into the woods, and I never saw him again. So anyway, I think this guy got Later, him. Ace. That I counts see. as Southern. I don't care <laughs> yeah. what part of the country I, you're from. I literally was in the back seat like, can we just go eat? I'm so hungry. How and, old uh, were you then? Uh, that was the same year. Eight. eight yeah, yeah, nine. That's yeah. what I'm thinking. Like, oh, I was like, well, well he could have just fought him. I was like, no, he couldn't because he was eight or nine. That yeah. guy sucks. Do you <gasps> yeah, want yeah, to find yeah. him? So we'll find him. My and older... we'll find Kate, uh, yes. Courtney's rapist. Yes. Oh, right. Might be the same guy. It probably is. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. Hey, so we're coming for you, motherfucker. You're hey. our lives. Well, now we got a name. We're halfway there. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably it's probably AC Slater. Oh. It's probably Mario Lopez. It's AC Later. <laughs> Daddy, how about that? Very nice. So like, out the window, or was it like he opened uh, the no, door? No, he opened the door and rolled in the street and ran. I remember him watching so scamper. I remember watching him scamper up this hill into the woods, being like, "All right, well, come on, how I want turkey." How fast animals. did you think they were? You were animals. going. Um, pro- not too fast. Did she slow down for him? She didn't know he was gonna do it, so I think it was right. like it was like twenty five miles an hour, probably. <laughs> it's so crazy. I know, just because I don't know what the he, hell was going on. Do you on. think he could have died doing I, no, that? No, I saw him run up uh. into the hill, and I, <laughs> I had I had a huge crush crush on this girl in high school, and I later found out because I moved to a different school. And I later found out that was her dad. So I know he was still alive, but she also hated his guts too. Her dad? Well, how yeah. old was she? She we were the same age. <gasps> Do you guys fall? Oh, you had a huge crush on her. Did no, you ever she didn't date? like me. No, she was the one. Was I your head smaller or bigger? I was a very fat, uh, prepubescent. <laughs> Dude, kid. This is like a place beyond the pines. I know. Yeah, I know. That's, I was like, fil- that's in just... upstate New York. That's filmed yeah. in Schenectady, New York. Oh, uh, you got to write a movie, but someone already did it. So too late. Pal. Too late. Well, we fucked up. Actually, so that girl I had a huge crush on, and we. Um, we uh, went to a prom party. We we're gonna sleep in the same tent. I was so excited. So this and uh, why prom, were you excited? Because I was like, I gotta crush on a girl. I'm gonna sleep. I what did you want to do to her in the tent? I just wanted to like, kiss her. <laughs> How really many people in a tent? Aww. Two people. So um, they let you do that. What do you mean? Who let what? Oh, I was. I thought this they, was like a school. They weren't prom. Covered. No, no, no. So it was a prom party. It's like an afterwards. after party. Yeah. So it was like okay. a cabin in the woods with a fire. That's all it was. And um, this oh. kid, uh, Perry, who was there, he's like 24 years old. They had a prom party for some reason. And uh, somebody comes <laughs> out. Somebody, Wait, the a twenty four year old was holding an after party oh for. He wasn't prom. even holding; he was just there. He just came. Wow, I yeah. would come too. High school Woo! chicks, drunk. Come Woo! on, get him. Twenty four? That's not that old. So um, it's so 18? funny because I partied at a college on my prom night. Yeah, yeah. Cool. see. So um, I go. He, somebody comes out of the cabin at one point, and they're like, "I think Perry's dead, right?" So nobody seems concerned. So I go in to check on him. He's like passed out on a futon. He like puked. And uh, I make sure he's like on his stomach and he's breathing and everything. And then later on, I go back in and he's like up and drinking. And I go up, I'm like, Perry. Uh, and I was like a small little fat kid. I was like five foot six, like 200 pounds. And uh, I'm like, Perry, everyone thought you were dead before. And I was checking to make sure you were alive. And he goes, and some guy behind me goes, Yeah, he checked by putting your dick in his mouth. <laughs> Got him. And I go, uh, I'm like, Well, I'm no EMT, but I don't think that's how you check. And Perry just starts choking me, right? He starts choking <laughs> And he's like a grown man. It's like my dad joking yeah. me. And I'm just like... Oh. And, and he parties, could have been your dad, yeah, right? Like, yeah. Wasn't he your... No, was he was your dad. stepdad, right? Yeah. yeah well, yeah. but who's your sh- real dad? I'm sure he fucked my mom at some point. But, um... And then everyone's <laughs> like, yeah, kill that kid. And he starts, like, rubbing my head in his yes. dried vomit. No. Anyway. Oh, my God. After I, he saved his life. After he saved his life. So I run out of the cabin afterwards, like, tears in my eyes. I rub all the puke out of my hair with leaves. And then I'm like, all right, well, at least I can go back to the uh, tent. When the when the coal was oh, the name. Oh, puke head! Hey, so, you wanna make well, out with me? I mom? rubbed it all off. Well, I go <laughs> to get leaves. That's not real. <laughs> well, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. So, but I, I go know. to get in the tent and I unzip it and she's in there fucking some guy. <laughs> oh man! So in the time it took to save a man's life, <laughs> yeah. she fucked another guy. So wow! I just, zi- I just zipped it up and Maybe I go like you were sleep gone in a... for a while. How long? No, you I was gone for a while. Oh. So um, but I just sleep in a field. You didn't want to fuck pussy. <laughs> I really didn't know. I was like, I, I was very late bloomer. She was fucking so. another guy. Was she on top or the other way? I could only like hear it. I didn't see it. So, uh, oh, they so could, you also they didn't could have, have just been playing dice. They could have been playing dice. Very erotic <laughs> dice. Wait, this was in your tent? No, no. Oh. She brought the tent. So I'm not saying, hey, she she did the right thing. <laughs> She She's probably had, it was probably the best night of her life. I know. know She's like, I almost had to fuck fat short Casey. <laughs> Wait, I, how old were you? I was 16. Who hasn't had their growth spurt by 16? I have a pituitary gland problem. And I, I knew to, there was something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to take medicine to this day. 
So you started taking medicine and then you grew? No, no. Actually, I grow. I I'm so tall because uh, like testosterone when you go through puberty, like makes your growth plates harden. So I, since I never, since I went through puberty so late, my growth plates, I kept like growing, and that's why I'm so tall. Like I'm supposed to be like five foot nine, but uh, I'm still growing to this what day. What a blessing! I wait, you wait. No, I was yeah. like, that sounds great. Oh. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm dying. I've got like giantism or something. Wrong wait, wait. How big will you get? I don't know. I've, it's very slow now. So I think I grew like half an inch over like the past like five years. So oh, that's slow. how tall are you now? Six four. Now you can you got a good three inches before you're officially a freak. Six four is like six, good. Six seven's nice. Yeah, six. Yeah, 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 yeah but it's and at that skinny. You're reaching some limits He's there. Put on, he'll put on weight. You got it. You got to eat. I've been lifting. I've been lifting. You got right. If you're gonna, the get only tall. thing that's not growing are those little teeth. I know. There's, that's why they're so small. It's like my head keeps getting bigger and they stay the same age. <laughs> hey man, I feel like it's the one plastic surgery they haven't. Have figured out because I got these big gums too, yeah. and I'm just like, wouldn't I love to get some fake old chompers? I know. <laughs> just so I can fix it right Let's then all fix and our there. Teeth. Yeah. I don't like my teeth. Let's see. Let's get a look. No, I don't pop like em, smiling either. Pop them open. She won't. Kara's oh, not a fine. bitch. She just hates her teeth. <laughs> she hasn't <laughs> smiled in twelve years. Thank you so much. <laughs> get some weird. white strips, bitch. This feels so good. I think they're nice. Sweating it out. I think they're great. They're you've not. Got, you've got a small head, so it fits. Yeah, my head, small head does fit in lots of places. You're small. <laughs> your teeth are fine. For your body. Some hate right. them. I'm self-conscious about Let's them. See. No. Let Mike touch them. No more. <laughs> okay. I grin with these big old gums all the time. I'm just but like, you know what? You can't You've see your gums you unless you teeth. do that or like you're like caught in the wind suddenly. No, you see it. You see, look, look at this. You're riding no, look bike. at this. You can see it straight up to the nose Rides. ball. Hey, just don't do that to people. Yeah, stop oh. doing that and you're fine. <laughs> yeah, there you go. See? Very nice. See? Got it. But then when I, the second I smell, there you are. It looks like my teeth are trying to come out of my head. Mm, I know, it's hard. <laughs> teeth are the worst. I think we just like go gum, just go full gum. Everybody can only have gums, and we'll only eat soup and drink stuff. That sounds great. I mostly eat soup and drink stuff already. So. Really? I don't like chewing, it's very tiring. Yeah. You know. Ugh, you guys, guys, it's the only pleasure in life. You, it chewing? must be so sad. Yeah. I Chewing mean, and swallowing this like it has to go together. It's not any fun. Like I, gum can fuck itself. Mm, I like swallowing. Chewing yeah, so swallowing's much. great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Chewing not so much. Anyway, we guys are more I mean, questions I know, for I can me. Talk no, about I this uh, all day. Sorry, no, I got <laughs> this is great. This is what I was listening last week, and there's a few so spots. So you're so poor, you didn't have toothpaste. Here's what yeah, happens. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, all right, I'm gonna level with you. What? What were you gonna Not, say about our podcast that you listened to? I was gonna say I listened a few times last week, and there's a few spots where there's like nobody the, talking. I was like, I'd rather hear my talk, fucking my girlfriend talk about goblin cocks and this dead air, girls. A, Come on, ask her a question. You, here's the problem. <laughs> yeah. We well, don't, I, oh, so now I'm mean? I thought this was about everyone being mean. No, I just heard Micah say, here's the problem, so I was going to let her do no, okay. <laughs> What's up? Oh, that's how I start sentences, so that way there's no dead air. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, I'm going to make her say this. Uh, here's no, no, the like, problem. Here's, here's the, the thing. Here's, here's the problem. We booked Courtney last minute know, and then great. didn't prepare. Uh, 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 that podcast was spectacular. It was, it was and really I loved, good. That's one of my favorite ones. And I don't like how you talk shit about your girlfriend like that. Well, uh, <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. He's doing it because he likes you. Right. Yeah. I'm trying to pick you guys You up, can't do so. it again, Casey. <laughs> right. It's fine. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's a beautiful, lovely woman. Hardworking lady. Hilarious comedian. Beautiful. Oh. Uh, big. Bolt. <laughs> <laughs> they are gorgeous. They really are gorgeous. Uh, have you ever made it out of poverty? Uh, so when I got that, when I got the check for the half hour mm-hmm. and then I recorded $7,000 is you making it out of poverty. Yeah. So it's supposed to be $20,000 and then after everything is seven. And then, um, <gasps> and then, um, you I don't know, am I going to get, I'm going to get, I can't get Oof. fired from, I already did it. So, uh, and then I got, <laughs> no, the, you're now you're just talking shit on your managers and agents and shit. Cause that's where all the money went. Right. Well, it's just taxes and taxes then like, tax. it's not, it's just normal. It's normal fees and stuff. And then, um, I did, and then I recorded the album around the same time, so I got that. So that's literally the only time in my life I've had like money where I could like buy a meal and not worry about overdrawing and stuff like that. So that's that was not it. out of poverty. Well, that's the one he's time I've getting, had money. He's yeah. getting there. He's certainly on a positive trajectory. Thank you very much, Karen. I appreciate out of the that. dirtiest, poorest place. <laughs> right. I yeah. mean, at that point, like he, you yeah. were literally in the dirt. Yeah. Like the way he was describing saving that guy's life, that sounds like you did that for your mom. 
all the time. Ah, <laughs> that sounded. Sweet. You were like, you know, you're like, you know, put him, put her on her mouth, you know. And I'm like, no, I don't know. <laughs> I would never fucking know how to save a drug addict's life. I'd be like, sucks for you, sucker. <laughs> it sucks for you. Put on your little hat and your briefcase and you skip town. And I'd be like, sick. I hope overdosing isn't contagious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, uh, yeah. So we're very impoverished, but um. <laughs> Uh, Do you want to call your mom? Uh, let's, I think she's working at the. She got a job at the dollar store, and I think. She's hey, working, that she's sounds good. That. Yeah, she loves it. We don't um, have to if you don't want. Seven thirty. She would probably love you, it. So you guys still talk? Yeah, no, we're cool. Oh my we God. actually. Can we ask her about now. the time she sold all your stuff for crack? Um, I've never asked her about that, so I should probably have a personal conversation with her about that first. Right well, now. Can you? Th- <laughs> no, I can't. Call On her. the air. She probably would. If I got, if she gets a you, few beers right, in her, she Micah, would talk about anything. Michael yeah. and I will go, la, 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 yeah. you'd say what it is, and then we'll, then we'll all talk. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll talk about her. I'll talk about it with her personally. You guys have me back and I'll tell the story. How about you we so send her the link to this Steve. podcast <laughs> and then she, oh, you think she has a computer? I did. <laughs> no. <laughs> I did. I did. No. No, she did. <laughs> and you're like, who doesn't have the like, computer? Yeah, she doesn't have a computer. No, because actually, if your mom doesn't have a computer, you are in poverty. Mm. Just, that's the truth. That's true. That's true. Right? I mean, she doesn't want one. I remember she was trying to get jobs. That's why she works at the dollar store, because she's like, I went to this one job interview, and they're like, what's your email? And I'm like, I don't have an email. And then she just left the interview. Whoa. <laughs> It was like 2014. I'm like, you should probably have an email. That's ageism, and I, I think know. we should start a lawsuit. <laughs> she was pissed. I mean, yeah. How old's your mom? 60. Yeah, 60. Someone should teach her the computer, though. It's too late. I mean, she's barely learned it the TV. It is not. It is not. That is, it barely, is not. She doesn't know how to work the DVD player. we got to start somewhere. Like, she's not going to. Okay, she shouldn't have a DVD player. Those are not Those used are anymore. Also, used obsolete. Well, she, I have to hook it up for her because we watch this. Thing called you Emmett can't just Otters, like Doug get her like Christmas. a little Acer. Like what about like just like a little? She doesn't want it. She will not use it. They're I... afraid. That generation is afraid. Yeah, she, won't, she doesn't my, have a um... cell phone. She doesn't have any of that shit. No. Yeah. What? She doesn't but have a cell phone. Our parents aren't like that. No. I'm sorry. Your parents are in France. Well, our parents have college degrees. Yeah, I think that's true. That's that's true. Yeah. Our parents had a little faith in themselves <laughs> at one point. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't just making up bad lies to an eight-year-old. Yeah, well, la that- dee da. Good for you, girls. My parents' lies were good. It took me years to unpack all this bullshit. I'll still be figuring it out on my deathbed. Well, I'm sorry. So my situation's better because it's all out in the open, I guess. I mean, you got to know. Is it helpful to know your mom's a moron right away? I maybe. Yeah, maybe. I feel. I guess I didn't realize the full scope of it. Because, you know, it's your, the one person who's guiding your life, so you hope they're not a complete fuck up. And but, you're, um, a, you're a smart guy. I'm smarter than I should be. Uh, and she's good. She's very good. She's a very sweet, uh, I would say, like, emotionally intelligent person. So she raised us well in that way. So, Except for how she picked yeah. men. Sure. Yeah, so she had bad guess, yes. men. And I can't even blame her for that because it's like she. my dad went to prison when she was pregnant with me. So she literally needed a man in the house to like provide shit. Place beyond the pines. Uh, Place yeah. beyond the pines. So like literally she was I feel like a lot of it was like I just can't do this on my own and I've got three kids, so I like can't even get mad at her for just trying to Especially get if she doesn't know house. Excel. I yeah, I know. <laughs> like what are you gonna do? <laughs> She's not much you could do. Yeah. <laughs> waitress. She was a waitress. No, yes? she worked at an ARC, which is a place where they put uh, uh, retarded people to work, like building small boxes and stuff. So was she helping them? <laughs> yeah, nobody really knows. Nobody really knows. <laughs> what? Oh my god, we're gonna call her. She's gonna be like, Hello? Nobody, <laughs> nobody knows. Is your mama I mean, I'm saying nobody knows which side of the conveyor belt she was on, <laughs> but uh, I think it was the supervisor side. She came home and said she had to like wrestle some uh, mentally challenged people a few times, and they like bit her and stuff. So I think she was on the supervision side. Hmm. They bit her. Yeah, they bit her. All right, she story checks her, out. Her, I'm her, bleeding. I don't know why. Are you bleeding? Did she go to but, rehab? No, no, she still drinks, but uh, it's like. But does she still smoke crack? No, no. That was a small. I think that was just ace. That was an ace time. She smokes weed. She drinks, but like she drinks like. Six beers here, like she's not. It's a day. It's not great, but it's not right. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. It's not like guzzling whiskey. But she like just got a job at the dollar store, so she still hasn't figured out like a lifestyle. Well, she for years she had a job. She was like doing um, the retard stuff or something. No, 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 no. For the last few years, she works at like a uh, ranch, like doing laundry for years. 
And uh, but that's like, like, a, like seasonal. Like a Mexican? Yeah, she does like Mexican jobs. She does jobs that like people who no, mm. don't know English do. Uh, yeah. So like housekeeping and stuff like that. And then the dollar store just came in, which is like the most booming business in my town. And now she works there. I really want to have your mom on the show. She'd be great. She's hilarious. Would she do it? Yeah. Courtney is uh, loved. They get along so well. It's great. I'm like fully in on your mom. Is your yeah. mom blonde? Yeah. Um, of it's course I pictured it. I mean, he, yeah. When I saw them together, I, I, I'm I just like, got like really overwhelmed oh, thinking God. of like you, Courtney, and the mom. When I saw them stand together for the first time, I'm like, oh no. What How a, big are your mom's tits? Very small. So oh. thank God. Yeah. yeah. Barely, barely <laughs> present. Barely there. So maybe that's why you didn't get fed enough. <laughs> I know, right? Oh. I know. That's why I had This could be your problem. kid, Karen. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'll fuck them up way harder than this. Smaller though. than yours. Oh, yeah. Thank they're you. Smaller than yours. Yeah. It's the bra. I'm just kidding. Right. Oh no, I have my period. Mm. Oh, you have your, your tits get bigger when you have your period? Yeah, mine do. That's cool as hell. Yeah. You didn't know that? I guess I knew some things happened. He's just like drowning in tit pillow every night anyway. I know. What am I going to think? They're this, yeah, it's they're like, what here. happens when you add a drop to the ocean? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> well, she had a reduction too, so I don't think, Holy I don't think they're shit. affected by the, the, the changes of womanhood oh anymore. my god what a good idea yes what they a, are like you guys just made the right decision because i see some of these women with these like ginormous fucking tits you can't even picture and they have on those crazy their backs are so fucking yeah. jacked up and it's like a tit gets too big it gets unruly i feel like like you want to those things are just gonna unravel oh well, yeah. yeah i had a like i had a reduction too oh really yeah my tits looked like you know like those like peanuts things when a snake comes out <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> that's, hilarious. that's hilarious. Oh my god, that's great. Yeah, you know what? It was like, and I was like, oh, cool, I'm 16. <laughs> yeah, so I like, thought you were gonna say like one morning, like my tick got stuck in my armpit, and I like ripped the skin. <laughs> oh off. my god, that's I hilarious. couldn't like picture that happening. Um, that's brutal. It, it was, it, uh, yeah. And I grew up in Arizona, so it was like sweaty, Ooh. chafy, yeah. like huge ugh. sweaty teen It's tits. like <laughs> those are like, yeah, <laughs> it's like sleep in a bra tits. Oh my. <laughs> Yeah, that's the worst. It's, that's, that's hell. Oof. It's a very sexual I only, podcast. I mean, I choice. only had them for like two, three years, and yeah, I was like, yeah. bye. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So long. <laughs> you did the right thing. Thank you. you. I am proud of me, too. Yeah. Yeah. How do we? Says the driving bug. Your mom. Tits. There it is. My mom. Yep. I knew. I was like, I was, like, on the I was like, is she doing the micro machine guy? <laughs> micro machines. Way to age yourself, right, Karen. Oh my god! I don't even know. Gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> I was just watching oh a video. <laughs> I was oh watching God. a Remember was, When video no. for a generation that doesn't appeal to me. I, I was listening to my <laughs> ham radio. What do other people machine. get nostalgic about? Oh, my God. The Micro Machine guy is fucking awesome. <laughs> I Fuck agree. you. I bet he was. It was a simpler time. You don't know. Yeah. You don't know because you were poor. Like, yeah, it's true. We you, didn't have cable. You didn't have micro machines. No, no, we didn't have full size machines. My, my mom's old. Yeah, my older brother was obsessed with micro machines. Had like all of them. It sounds cool. Older those brother, is, we get it. Karen. Are those the tiny cars? <laughs> way, <laughs> way older. <laughs> Are those the tiny cars? Yeah, and you can yes, get little yes, battleships yes. and airplanes and stuff too. All of our like home videos are like, can we look at Mark? Wait, you can't. <laughs> the only fun part was the commercial. Like, what are you going to do with a tiny car? That sounds. They were kind of cool. Just to, oh, you I can, used like, to like. Boo. I do remember now. I think I. Have some, oh, there you, know. you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you have? Alzheimer's? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, uh, yeah. I remember microscreens now. My dad, when he would visit, he would buy us toys. So we did have like, oh, we, toys. Do you talk to your real dad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you ever like, really? hey, I wanted like, you let that guy abandon me when I was little? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't his fault. He was bipolar. You have to find the micro machine guy now because I'm not going to be able to stop thinking about it. I will second. find him. We'll look him Who, up. Ace? So your hmm. dad was bipolar and that's why he left? That's why he got put in prison. And that's oh, why right. my mom and him got divorced. Oh, that's, what did he go to jail for? Well, when, so he got, he, when you're bipolar, you make a lot of rash decisions when you're manic. So he one mm. night he got Don't a... Don't make excuses for your murdering father. All right, he probably did murder people. <laughs> um, but he, uh, so he got, a, he got picked up for drinking and driving one night and they um, put him in the drunk tank and they uh, repoed his car. And uh, so he got out of the tank and he's like, where the fuck's my car? They're like, you gotta go to the impound lot and get it. So we went outside. He pulled another guy out of his car to take his that guy's car and then go so to get his car. Vehicle. So he stole a guy's car. Um, and then so he got his car, drove home to my house where it was my mom who was pregnant with me and my brother and sister. And he You just, weren't even motherfucking born, dude? I wasn't even born. So um, 
my dad, so he was like acting crazy. Apparently, he was like drawing lines in the kitchen, but, like you have to stand here, you have to stand here. He made everyone a big meal. It was just like dumping a bunch of shit in the pot that was whatever was in the kitchen. Whoa! He went out with a blaze of glory. Yeah. So my mom calls my aunt, which is my dad's sister, which she never called. So immediately, my aunt picked up and she's like, "What's going on?" She's like, "It's not good. You got to come over." So my my aunt came over. And by this point, my the cops had come to the house because of the stolen vehicle, and my dad had like taken his shirt off. He tied like a bandana. Around his head, he had two, two butcher knives. He was, like, standing at a bay window, like, waiting for the cops to come. And my aunt gets the whole family out of there. And then they, like, take him in without killing him, luckily. Uh, white privilege, am I right? Uh, and he uh, – so he goes to jail. And uh, so he was in jail when I was born. I think he only does, like, a year. So then why didn't he come back? Because she got divorced because this is, like, the last time. It's, like, you're too crazy. Oh, because that was – oh, right, because he was the knives. Right, got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, yeah. yep. So just remembered. Like, you're too crazy. Just remember that was actually a great thing your mom did for you. Absolutely. Right, right, right. So, yeah, they got married when he was pregnant with my sister, who was the oldest, and got divorced when she was pregnant with me. So it was a nice little – Oh, what a bookend. Bow on the end, yeah. So, wait, I, the, I'm stricken. Stricken? Sure. Yeah, that is actually the word. Sure. Struck? Stricken. Is I'm moonstruck. By that story. <laughs> that you have siblings. Yeah. And they were older. Mm-hmm. So where were they when like your mom was getting all cracked yeah, out? Yeah, if you had crazy? a big brother, why didn't he kick that ace guy's he actually, ass? One night he almost did and Fuck then they yeah, kicked him out of that they kicked him out of the house. But he's like I was like nine, so he was like thirteen. He started to you know kick grown oh, ass. Shit, and your sister was in but the middle. But he was probably at that age where he's like, I'm fucking pissed. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Guy. He went through puberty super early, so he was like a little man. But um, my sis- your brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He took all the testosterone. That, he got sad. He got on. he got drunk and called me one night, and he was like, "I'm sorry, I took all the testosterone <laughs> from home, and I didn't leave any for you." I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's not how it worked, but it's okay. Uh, <laughs> Your brother's a retard too. He is a little, no, he's fine. He's great. Wait, is he an actual? I he's I think he's not retarded. He's the smartest They're, kid. He's the smartest guy I know. Hmm. I think I, I think you know if Casey's like speech is indicative of anything, it's they're a little developmentally slow. Yeah, a lot of the steps yeah. in these stories could have been skipped. Do you no. know what I mean? <laughs> I'm trying to make up for all the dead air you fucking. <laughs> I, lo- I love these tall tales. <laughs> yeah. I also am like convinced you just memorized the only book you ever read, the one she keeps referencing. It's that a I movie. Haven't read. Don't oh, worry it's about a it. Movie? And you should see it because it's got what's his face, close eyes. Who? Wait, what movie are you talking Who's about? Who's Close Eyes? Place Beyond the Pines. Oh, Place Ryan, Beyond the Pines. Ryan, Ryan Gosling, yeah. Bradley Cooper. It's a Love. beautiful film. Love. Oh, and um, the girl's fucking, what's her name? Do you know it? You, uh, you Rosa watched, Mendes. <gasps> you did I've just repeat it. this movie in I did. <laughs> I fucking knew it. Why You're not from Vermont. Why do you think I've watched it so many you times? You read a book. You it's, came in here like, I'm telling them I'm from Vermont, even though I'm from Kentucky. Nar, nar, nar. This movie is set in Schenectady, <laughs> New York, because that is Sue for Place Beyond the Pines, you fucking read. <laughs> I know all this because it's a great movie, and I've watched it many times. Okay, I, Casey, <laughs> we believe you. We believe you. We believe your story. <laughs> Thank you. Um, what? Wait, what were you at? My, you know, he's very smart. They thought he was retarded when he was little because he was like very quiet and stuff, but he was like four grades ahead of everybody and like reading and stuff I like that. I thought you were going to hit me. Oh, so he's... I, I know. I'm sure you get the... Uh, he's the opposite of retarded. He's a genius. <laughs> he's like a genius, Or he's like, an autistic, like, he's probably with genius-y spec- stuff. spectrum me. Uh, Got uh, it. I love sis- him on the spectrum. Yeah. I'm like, well, Rainbow... Who doesn't? Like Rainbow Brights. It's all the things you want, none of the things you don't. Yeah, it's yeah. like, catch this red fish. <laughs> How it's many like, toothpicks is that? This oh, it's like, you're not trying to like, hug me and say I love you, right. but you like, can get things right. done. Great. You're like, my head is oh always itchy right there too. Oh my God. God. Bro, you got Richie's pretty close. So uh, no, Richie's no, not autistic. Well, he built a nah, shelf and He's stuff, way too he, boring to too- be autistic. <laughs> <laughs> She's kidding. She says that because it's so not true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was joking, Richie. It's I love guy. the sex we have. I'm just kidding. Mm. I love you, Richie. I love when I was staying with Courtney and just come out like shirtless at Richie? Op- opportune times. It's like, we get it. You work out, Richie. What he do? Uh, he lives there, man. Did you know? he make you feel insecure about your body? Is that no, really I look was? great. Uh. So it's fun. In his defense, <laughs> that- <laughs> Richie's never trying to show off his body. He's just from Arizona. Oh, that's yeah, the sure. shirt there. Oh, sure, sure, sure. No, you know, sure. right? That's, that's an Arizona oh, shirt. That's so cute. He's yeah. trained you to say that. I know. <laughs> oh, I see. thought of that thing just to say. <laughs> say oh, man, cute. there I go, giving him too much credit again. <laughs> oh, you girls. Look at this. You're going to have a fist fight after this one. I can feel it. This is fun. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> yeah, uh, know, we'll what? Uh. Um, yeah, so my brother. And then I had an older sister who is like the most well. Uh, 
I was going to say well developed. Your sister? Like she's a, huge she's a real yeah. person. She's like a real person. So but that, she moved out when she was 14. So Where'd uh, she go? She moved in with her boyfriend and then she moved in with my. How old was he? He was 16, but he had his own house because his dad owned the cable company. Yeah. So he was like, they were like the richest family in town. But what? This, yeah. Your yeah. sister was like. She moved uh, on up. Yeah, Good for her. Up. She didn't save you though. She, I mean, what are you going to do? Bye, bitch. What are you gonna do? I don't know. And then she also. No, what are you going to do? <laughs> He's like, yeah, what are you going to do? I don't know. Think about your little brother who's it's in a like, crack house. It's like, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna move in with you. Can my two little brothers move in too? What 16-year-old man wants two little boys living in his I life? don't know. Make sure you have a packed lunch. Well, no, we were taken care of. It wasn't that, like, we were with the school. It was fine. But um, You were with the school. We were with the school. And um, she moved in with my uncle's <coughs> ex-girlfriend, Nikki, who actually, a man was murdered in their house one time and uh, while my sister was there. And uh, that was a big that Your was a sister big heard thing. a guy get murdered? So she was in there, and Nikki had this boyfriend, Frank, who was like an older guy, and he had some kind of drug dealings. Oh, with, so he uh, didn't live alone. Florida. There was an, they were like all roommates. So it was like Frank and Nikki, and they took her in, so she lived there. So oh, um, she was in the bathroom one night, Nicole, my sister, and she like heard someone walking around outside or whatever, and then she heard like some weird noises, and she like waited in the bathroom for a while, and then she came out, and she went in the room, and there was Frank dead, been like shot up. Shut the f- you wait. She didn't hear the gunshots. He had silencer. Yeah, silencer. So um, I don't think they're that. Silent. Yeah. Well, she heard. I'm saying she heard some like noises, and she like waited because it sounded like something was weird. Oh my so fucking Christ! His girlfriend Nikki was in the bed, and she like ran out in the street to um in her nightgown, and, like ran, and they like sk- called the cops. So the cops. So as my sister came into the bathroom, she saw the body and like went to leave, and the cops were coming in. And asked her all this stuff. So I remember this because I was home and my mom calls me up the next day and is like, if the cops come by or if anybody comes by, just don't say anything. And I'm like, all right. I'm just like a fat little kid watching Wait, cartoons. Who are you covering for? I don't know. I had no idea. She didn't tell me anything. The drug dealers that killed Frank. Um, well, <laughs> right. Like, why wouldn't they want that murder solved? I think we probably had like illegal stuff in the house. So they were like, just like, don't. She just was like, you can't ever talk to the cops, even if yeah, it's yeah, to yeah. catch a murderer. Yeah. Well, I didn't well, know. You don't know about retaliation oh, either. You can't God. be a snitch. Um, so they, a few yeah. detectives came and they, I just let them in. And it was so, I was like, hey guys, come on in. And they're like, let me tell you something, son. Uh, if somebody comes to the house, like, ask for a badge or something, and I'm like, all right. And they just, like, they don't do anything. They're like, all right, well, clearly this isn't part of the story. And then I see on the news, like, they have my mom on a video outside the house because they're like, somebody got murdered here, but they didn't tell her who. So they have her just, like, breaking down the street. And I'm like, oh, no, what's going on? And then I found out later this guy got killed, and it was his ex-wife who hired a hitman and um, all this wild shit. So she's been through some shit. She's got stories. Like, uh, my stories are fucking... Who, your sister? Yeah, I've got... My stories are tame as hell compared to hers. Holy shit. Now, was she, like, a totally good girl who had terrible things happen to her? No, no. (laughs) (laughs) That's what it sounds like to me. (laughs) Oh, I keep yeah. trying to put myself in this position. Yeah. I, I mean, like, I that's how I frame my life. But now I, now that you're saying this, I'm like, oh, I did these things to me. <laughs> well, I imagine you were in the same situation. You're probably a good girl. She's a good girl at heart, but uh, you get in wild situations. And um, yeah. you, know, you make the best of it. Of a man the silencer. Dead Fucking body. Christ. Yeah, it was wild. So, What's your sister up to now? Now she's an award-winning winemaker in California. Get it. Yeah. Doing great. I think the thing is like drug guys and like <laughs> <laughs> drug dealers are fucking hot. Yeah, it's true. A lot it of times they're like really fucking hot. And they got a lot of money. And they got like, money. They oh get cards or whatever. They like say the right things because they're fucking bad boys or drug dealers. You're no, insane. No. Not the ones I've encountered. My college roommate married our drug dealer. And I was horrified. He was the most disgusting person I've Not ever met Harry, in my life. Oh, boy. He was no. Al Pacino. He had like, he was like coke addicted. He sold weed and had like a happy (laughs) cough. How many was that? That's rough. What? Al Pacino. Sorry. We had two conversations at the same time. I know. Well, that's, so that's, I mean, there could be a good type of drug dealer and bad type of drug dealer. Yeah, you're right. Not all of them. Not all of them, no. I've never met, my point is, I've actually never met a drug dealer I want to fuck. My dad was a weed dealer his whole life and he's a, he's a dime. He's a, I literally went home, I took my girlfriend home for, the the real dad. Yeah, the real dad. I've slept with a plethora of drug dealers now that I'm thinking about it. A plethora, (laughs) wide array, thousands. Yeah. Yeah. That's beautiful. I just remember I went through this like sort of like West Indian phase when I was living on the Upper West Side. Oh my God, so specific. (laughs) A West Indian phase (laughs) or a I'll fuck whoever comes to my apartment phase. 
Ooh. No, it was like St. Lucia. Oh, <laughs> my God. It's so specific. That's it was, great. Uh, well, no, I mean, I was having a wonderful time. It sounds lovely, Karen. And yeah. I really support your decision. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had a great time. Mm-hmm. Well, that's nice. What happened to your older brother now? What does he do? He lives in the town where all this happened, where we... He stayed. He stayed. And he, like... Why? I don't know. So he's, got some kind of, he's got some kind of weird connection to the town. And even though nothing's going on, it's so small, and he just works... He also works at a, like, a home for like mentally challenged people. And, a um, different one? A different one. So yeah. your town it just houses retards. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's called That's, retard. It's their big business. Yeah, it's called retard. I mean, New York. You, are you from What's... Gompers <laughs> Gumption? <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Was the water like poison? Like actually, I <laughs> swear good, to God. Good, good. Such. I swear to Let's God. Let's call Aaron Brockovich. <laughs> I swear to God, this Let's... is true. The trailer park we lived in in Vermont before we moved to New York. We found out years later there was a class action lawsuit brought to them because the water was fucked up. And we tried to get in on it, but they're like, there's too many people because they didn't want to split the money up more. And they think maybe that's why I have my like pituitary gland problems. But oh, you we don't? Get, we yeah, get maybe. Maybe. So, yeah. You're, Wait, you're you, next can't, man. you can't get in even though you're a victim? What, do you have to start late. your own suit? Well, yeah, yeah, but it's too late. Once they already did the, you can't charge for twice for the same thing. Really. Double so, jeopardy. Yeah. But it's a Double new victim. Jeopardy. I apparently, I don't know. Maybe That's, I'm wrong. Yeah. I think that you are. Wait, who's the other victim? It was literally everybody in the trailer park had a class action lawsuit. We found out about it through the grapevine. Why didn't they tell you guys they hated because it? Because they wanted, because you get the, you get more money the fewer people there. You so guys they must have been like the super tards. Yeah, like yeah, They yeah, were yeah. smarter than you. You get like, you want enough people that you have enough people to build a case, but not too many people that everybody gets like $10. You know what I mean? So we tried to get in on it, and we were no, too late. because the more people you have, the more money you get out of the company. I don't know. This is what my dad told me. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. Well, you guess what? Your dad's not smart either, <laughs> and he drank the water, he? and he didn't help you. He did drink the then, water. Then, and he didn't help you. This. He did drink the water. Yeah, he didn't help me too much. We he did to, buy me nice micro machines. We gotta so get nice. your. Uh, we gotta get your parents in here. Yeah, they're great. We gotta talk to them. They're what are we shame for raising a perfect child? I know. What are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Not, not teaching really not. him how to tap dance. Right. I, can I dance mean, they something. taught him how to can save a man's dance? life. Mm-hmm. Really? Not tap, tap dance. dance. I'm a great dancer. Shalea was you, are a da- you are a great dancer. Said I'm the best white man comic dancer in New York City, which is a lot of caveats, but it's uh, true. I mean, yeah. I've, I've, I've never seen it, um, but I believe you. Yeah, You're pretty confident you I'll second it. it. Sure. Yeah. Have fun out there. Thank I don't know about much. like the be- If I thought about it, maybe you are the best, but I haven't come to that conclusion on my own i, I don't just follow shalewa i'll well, think about it shout out to shalewa we should get her in here yeah she's great yeah shalewa are you listening she's shalewa, the best call us she hooked me up with like a, a burlesque chick in atlanta i want to do my show out there ah, it's gonna be fun stand up take your clothes off yeah very nice how that come you haven't done the show casey i've never yeah. been asked what? do you do men or what are you talking about i would say like 50 emails no, I've been begging. i'd love to do it please try so hard any white I'm male sorry. comic yeah. We're like, sorry. You really need more white men comics. You're really email, being stifled. Your email is blocked. Oh, it it's is? Been, it's, you, you blocked me on email. Damn it. I forgot about that. Well, I'm sorry, Karen. That's you can okay. ask me face to face now that we're here together. All right. Thanks for letting me know that. Um, <laughs> Casey, you're an utter delight. This is so much fun, guys. I'm sorry if I talk too much. Utter, you're an utter delight. Ew. My hand is sweaty. Uh, but it's uh, a lot of fun. Yeah, there are wonderful stories. I can't wait to see the movie. Oh, I did. <laughs> I am the Ryan uh, Gosling type. The Good, the Dad, and the Ugly is the name of your podcast. That's the podcast. I did an episode. If you guys want to like a gentle ease in, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen great. to my episode. You made fun of me a lot. Was I was not nice. You weren't nice, but, but we loved it. You know, yeah, that's you didn't bring me in to fucking you know watch you guys be nice. No, we have a few guests who like clam up because we talk about like sexual stuff and they don't want to talk about you it. You guys ha- talk about sexual stuff and yeah. you haven't asked me to be on. I would love to have you on, that's Karen. So but fucked up. I don't know. It's out of my hands. <laughs> All right, so let's say that it is in somebody's hands. Whose hands would it be in? It's Schroeder's hands, so you got to take it up with him. <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> I'm sure you would. I have no fucking problem. <laughs> Charles. Uh, good Dad of the Ugly. Uh-huh. Uh, where else? You got any shows you want to plug? This comes. Is there, uh, there's live listeners. It'll also oh, come so out in a week. This Friday at the, at the Secret Loft in Manhattan. Ooh. If you go on Eventbrite and you search uh, Big Weird at the Secret Loft, we've got a show we do. Once a month. And then Saturday at Pine Box Rock Shop, we've got The Killing Joke. Me and yes. Scotland Green and Allie Pryor host that one. Uh, I've got an album called Wild Country Phoenix. You could find that on iTunes and wherever. And uh, that's about it. Uh, it's all great. 
Thank should you. all go to it? Oh my god! I sold it. You really? Listen, you're on video, you know. These people, <laughs> these people hang on my every word. I know, they um, I know. absolutely, uh, yeah, definitely check out Casey. You guys can uh, see me. Uh, I don't know. You're gonna be in San Diego. I'll be uh, hanging out with my niece. So fuck off. <laughs> What's your name? I don't know. One of those. No, no. Whatever. She's like not what? her. Per- she's like a year and a half yet. Oh, What's her yeah, name? Yeah, yeah. Sophie. Oh, Sophie. I- Figured. You know, I don't know if she's on social media, so don't try and find her yet. At Sophie Fox in San Diego. Go get her, guys. Yeah, my sister. Uh, <laughs> go my sister, get her, guys. Go get her. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you know, like if she says yes, I'm like, what am I going to do? It's, she looks to it's like one of the few words uh, she does. <laughs> uh, uh, Karen, anything before we fucking wrap this oh, dick God, up? I don't know. No. Yeah, no. Great. All right. You So l- thanks for listening, everybody. Uh, we hate you. Oh, we should have told them to watch our kumia.